Nationalist rivalries in naval construction have been going on from the days of the Greeks and the Persians. Nowadays, all the world's most powerful surface combatants operate in the latest rivalry between major powers, this time in the Asia-Pacific region. Powerful service ships on the planet are a means to an end. Board game pieces in the struggle between the dominant military powers of post-war Asia, the United States, Japan, and authoritarian states, Russia, China, challenging the status quo. Today, we will show you the deadliest ships in the world. Kirov Class We start off our list with the deadliest ship in Russia's navy, the Kirov Class. The official name for this class is Project 1144, but it is also called Kirov after the name of the first battlecruiser to be built. This class was built in the time of the Soviet Union. Primarily, there was supposed to be five ships built, but one was canceled. By January 2021, the Pytor Veliki is the only Kirov-class ship in active service. But one other ship, the Admiral Nakimov, is also planned to be back in service in the foreseeable future. The cruiser can carry up to 110 missiles. Weapons include 20 inclined launchers of anti-ship granite missiles. S-300 FM Fort M long-range range missiles and Kinzhal missiles. A 30mm AK-630 CIWS on the Kalinin and the Piter were replaced by a more advanced 6 Cordic CIWS. The Russian Navy is planning to outfit the Piter Veliki and the Admiral Nakamov with the newer S-400 for increased threat capability against 5th generation stealth fighters like the F-35. Also, the Russian Navy is testing hypersonic 3M-22 Zircon missiles with a range of more than 540 nautical miles as an even more deadly anti-ship solution than granite missiles. It is expected that the cruiser will also be armed with a total of 60 of these missiles by the near future. In the role of the Kirov-class successor, Russia is developing a new class of nuclear-powered heavy destroyer, the Shkival-class. On April 18, 2020, the Russian newspaper Interfax reported that the Severnoy Design Bureau had suspended development on the Shkival. However, in June, Alexei Rachmanov, head of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, reported that the project was still moving forward. Sejong the Grey Class The next position in our list is the South Korean destroyers, the Sejong the Grey Class. Partially designed by the South Korean Ministry of National Defense, Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, the Sejong the Great Class destroyers are the largest service combatants in the Republic of Korea Navy. The three vessels of the class were built as a part of the KDX-3 project to strengthen ROK Navy defense against North Korea and other emerging threats. The design of these vessels borrows heavily from features of the American Arleigh Burke class and the Japanese Otago class, and shares numerous common components and systems as well, but has a largely original construction and composition. Likely owing to the use of the fully developed technologies and subsystems, the Sejong the Great class destroyers cost only $923 million per vessel. The missile battery of the Sejong the Great class is exceptional. They carry an incredible 128 missiles in three different VLC launch cell pads. That is a much larger stock of missiles than the 96 cells found in the Arleigh Burke class. The variety of missiles carried by the Sejong the Great class is staggering as well. These include the RIM 66M5, an SM2ER Block 4 with a range of 130 nautical miles, the Hyunwoo 3B land attack cruise missile with a range of 560 nautical miles, the SSM-700K Haesong anti-ship missile with a range of 81 nautical miles. The Red Shark anti-submarine missile with a 9.7 nautical mile range. And the RIM-116B Ram surface-to-air missile with a range of 3.8 nautical miles. The K-745 Blue Shark torpedo has an effective range of 9.7 nautical miles. The propulsion for the Sejong the Great class is four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines driving two shafts with 100,000 shaft horsepower. The system provides a 5,500 nautical mile range at 20 knots, and the full speed of the class is approximately 30 knots. The manufacturers retain the ability to construct additional Sejong the Great class destroyers, but it is unknown as of 2021 if any other will be ordered by the ROKN. Ticonderoga class now we will tell you about the most armed warship in the U.S. Navy. The Ticonderoga class are a class of guided missile cruisers in service with the U.S. Navy. Nowadays, 22 ships are operational, 
11 in the U.S. Navy Atlantic Fleet and 11 in the Pacific Fleet, two of which are based in Japan in the U.S. Naval Forces Base at Yokosuka. A number of Ticonderoga-class cruisers were developed in military missions. For instance, the USS Shiloh and USS Mobile Bay were developed as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom, carrying out a series of combat operations and Tomahawk cruise missile launches. The Ticonderoga class, similar to the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers, is equipped with the IGUS combat system, which integrates the ship's electronic sensors and weapon systems to engage anti-ship missile threats. The armaments of the class were improved. The first five ships had two twin MK-26 missile launchers firing standard SM-2 MR missiles. But from USS Bunker Hill, CG-52 onwards, the two MK-26 launchers and their magazines have been replaced by two MK-41 vertical launch systems. The 120-cell vertical launch systems can be loaded with standard, harpoon, ASROC, and Tomahawk missiles, giving later vessels the ability to engage targets above, on, and below the surface. In 2006, all 22 operational ships additionally received new ESSM standard SM-2 Mod-4 surface-to-air missiles and two RAM missile launchers. The ship supports two Sikorsky SH-60B Seahawk helicopters fitted with the LAMPS Mission Avionics integrated by Lockheed Martin Federal Systems, which provides the capability of directing tactical actions by the ship and air team. The vessel is powered by four LM2500 gas turbine engines from General Electric, which provide a maximum speed of over 30 knots. At an economical speed of 20 knots, the ship has a range of over 6,000 nautical miles. Despite its old age, the Ticonderoga is still the largest surface combatant in the U.S. fleet and carries more missile cells than any other ship. Type 055 Class It's time to tell you about the new Chinese guided missile destroyer. On June 28, the first ship of this class was launched at Shanghai's Jiangnan Shipyard. The new destroyer is equipped with new types of air defense, anti-missile, anti-ship, and anti-submarine weapon systems, and has strong capabilities in information detection, air and missile defense, and maritime target attacking. The Type 055 also features stealth characteristics, such as a small radar cross-section and low noise, infrared and electromagnetic radiation. She carries very potent missiles, including HHQ-9 surface-to-air missiles, YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missiles, and CJ-10 land attack cruise missiles with the ability to strike targets up to 1,240 miles away, which can be launched from 120 vertical tubes. The system is also equipped with the Type 1130 close-in weapon system that can shoot tens of thousands of bullets per minute to neutralize incoming missiles. Propulsion is provided by a combined gas and gas COGAG arrangement with four QC-280 gas turbines developing 28 megawatts each and smaller QD-50 gas turbines developing 5 megawatts each. The Type 055 can reach a maximum speed of 30 knots and has a range of 5,000 nautical miles. Nowadays, China is testing a second ship of this class, Lhasa. Another five Type 055 are expected to be built in the coming years. Arleigh Burke class The last position in our list is placed by the Arleigh Burke class. The class employs an all-steel construction and is comprised of three separate variants, or flights. Since their introduction in 1991, they have served in every theater of conflict for the U.S. Navy and carried out escort missions, deterrence patrols, anti-piracy missions, ballistic missile defense duties, land attack, anti-air, and HADR, humanitarian and disaster relief missions, making it rich in terms of combat experience. These 9,800-ton ships have powerful radars, a large missile armament, and continuous upgrades, which makes them suited to handle any threat in the ocean in the world. The Arleigh Burke class launches most of its missiles from Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS modules. Flight 1 and 2 ships have 90 VLS cells, while Flight 2A and 3 ships have 96. Each cell can accommodate one of the following missiles. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 for intercepting ballistic missiles in outer space. RIM-67 Standard Missile 2 or RIM-174 Standard Missile 6 for air defense missile. BGM-109 Tomahawk for precision strikes against surface targets. And anti-submarine rocket, ASROC, that drops into the ocean and finds its target automatically. The propulsion system provides a maximum speed of 31 knots and a range of 4,400 nautical miles at 20 knots. The Burke retirements would likely begin in 2026 or 2027, 
years just after the service completed shedding 13 Ticonderoga-class cruisers from the U.S. fleet. Well, that's it for today. Let us know in the comments which warship impressed you the most. And don't forget to give us a like and smash that subscribe button. And turn on notifications to not miss any new interesting videos. See you next time.